Welcome to a new update. In this update, we will be talking about some altcoins that I think that are interesting to watch. The markets are heating up. Bitcoin is doing well. We are still around 35k. We are still in the phase where people are expecting the markets to crash again because that has been happening in historical price action, at least for the past two years. But at the start of a bull, there will still be a lot of bears expecting the markets to correct. But I think it's not happening at this point. We are eager to continue moving to the upside. So we're going to talk about altcoins in this update. But before we continue, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'll be making more content in the coming period too. I hope you're enjoying the content that I produce for you. Um, and also, we have started our consultancy and asset management branch, which is live since a few days. And as you can see on the screen, we've got several things that we do in the consultancy. First of all, limited spots. There are not um, unlimited spots available as you might understand consultancies and one-on-one -on -one assistance requires time and effort to uh, build your portfolio, etc. So we've got several packages. Those packages are there for people who don't have a crypto portfolio want to get started people who do have a crypto portfolio and want to maximize the trading, which is a module that we use since the 1st of September, a combination between my strategy and some traditional markets. And the portfolios are based on risk appetite, low, medium, medium plus or high. And all of them are up around 20% since the 1st of September. And we're going to cover that on a website, of course. We also have uh yearly packages we've got a special package if you want to become a better better crypto trader you can book hours with us and we are also assisting corporates who want to get into crypto or need to know more about crypto so check out the consultancy page which is in the description beneath if you um, are looking to get more hands-on assistance in these markets also this video is sponsored by bitfavo which is my premium partner when it comes to investing into altcoins. The altcoins, um, I'm using several exchanges. Uh, of course, I've got a trading exchange, but for Bitfavo, I DCA my altcoins and I hold my altcoins on the exchange. It's also my crypto to fiat gateway. You can use it anywhere in Europe. So if you are also you trying to find a solution in Germany or in other countries, Bitfavo is the way to go. Super easy to use exchange. It gives you a welcome bonus of 10 euros if you deposit 10 euros and free trading of 10,000 euros if you start your account through me. Now, when we're looking at the markets, I think we're going to have an overall look before we're going to, well, let's say conclude with the altcoins. First of all, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is currently running up, which means that we're currently having an uptrend and I've been discussing this in the previous update of last week in which we briefly touched up on the fact that we're holding crucial uh, levels. So if you go back into the previous cycle, uh, 2019, we have been consolidating beneath $6,000 and we started to rush through it. The same sort of breakout is of the 30K level is comparable to the level that we've witnessed here at 4.1 or 6K. So we broke through 4.1, never really cut back to us this level until COVID-19 took place, but we broke through it, consolidate and continuation to the upside. All right, how far did we go with this entire run? We came all the way towards the 0.35 and 0.382, which is also the level which we hit in the 2015-2016 cycle. As you can see in the chart here, we ran towards $800 as well. So if you look at the breakouts or the start of a bull cycle, usually you don't get a retest of those regions in the short term after because people are eager to get into the markets and the momentum is just sim simply shifting. So FOMO gets in, uh, those retests just simply do not happen until a later point in time. And that is usually when people are not expecting that retest to take place. So the current breakout of Bitcoin is very much comparable to that one that we witnessed at 4K. So a uh, conclusion can be drawn that if we are consolidating here based on the weekly time frame, 
presumably you don't want to see it break beneath 31k because if it does that is going to be a signal of weakness or at least the first one because at this point we have shifted the trend so what we've seen is we've had a downwards trend we flip it bullish as we are making higher lows higher highs we are technically also holding the previous resistance at twenty-five thousand dollars and we flipped it for support which means that we're currently having continuation um, so technically we are making higher highs higher lows we are also holding the 200 ema on a weekly time frame and based on that structure you generally want to see it hold above 31k um, as that has been the barrier for the past year and if it holds there we can continue having that movement to the upside which means that we are targeting between 45 to 50k pre-halving as we have been seeing in that this entire bear market we have been lacking or uh, falling behind and also the previous bear market we have been falling deeper which means that there is still a significant upside to be made when it comes to the markets and i think pre-halving we could be getting this uh, after which we are going to have a swift correction and then we start to continue the bull cycle which is probably going to be comparable to the one that we witnessed in 2016 2017 as you can see here the 18 months after the halving we ran from 800 dollars to 20k i'm not suspecting that we ran run from like 35k to 1 million but it would be wise to say that you should be allocating into positions at this point um lower time frame bitcoin not much to say um i've been marking these levels we couldn't get to us 36.5 but if we are getting anywhere in the regions of 32.5 to 33k that is going to be a trigger for long positions total market cap at this point also trending upwards we are making a higher high barely but we are continuing the uptrend which is comparable uh, which means that we are also continuing to see strength and most likely we are going to have way more upside at this point and most likely marking our high at 1.8 trillion at this stage as we are currently resting ourselves on support as well and then we can continue moving to the uh, next higher high or next target at 1.7 uh, trillion now when we're looking at the bitcoin dominance we can see that that one is also in an uptrend and you could question why the question is currently the momentum is heavily skewed towards uh bitcoin as bitcoin is potentially getting a spot etf and the bitcoin halving is happening which means that we're currently in the same stage as where we are here which draws me to the conclusion that at this point probably the usdt values of the altcoins have bottomed out and the Bitcoin pairs are going to get into an area of uh, bottoming out now as well. And some of them are already breaking the entire downwards trend. And we're going to discuss one of those segments really soon. So what do we see? Um, the Bitcoin dominance is currently running up. And that is primarily due to the fact that the interest is heavily skewed towards Bitcoin. But this is going to reverse relatively soon. And in order to have a reversal you're looking at ETH against Bitcoin and ETH against Bitcoin is currently having that downwards trend. So what do we see here? We had a technical upwards trend. Uh, we broke to the broke upwards here, which was around a big event taking place here. We dropped back beneath, reject the resistance um, and started to make a new low. Took out all the liquidity. You can see that the volume has exceeded here. We reversed back up, but found ourselves into a resistance and started to trend to the downside. All right. So we're making lower highs, lower lows on a constant basis for Ethereum. As you can see, we are doing that every time, which means this is your current resistance zone and you're looking for liquidity that's beneath this low. From that conclusion, you could say that... Um, ETH against Bitcoin still has some more downside to go or at least is getting close towards a bottoming procedure at this point uh, but we don't have any confirmation yet but what we do see is that the RSI is getting into a zone it has not been in until uh, or at least since the low we've created in the previous bear market so we're getting there and most likely we're going to get, take this liquidity here which if we take that is a confirmation that probably bitcoin is going to top out in its run 
um, and then we're going to have some sort of reversal at least on ETH against Bitcoin and that is also going to be a significant trigger for altcoins to start trending to the upside. Now what is the second confirmation if ETH Bitcoin wants to um, reverse? That is that it starts to break levels. So if we break this level at 0 0.06 that is a trigger that we're going to have continuation to the upside and to be fair I think that ETH against Bitcoin is going to outperform or at least ETH is going to outperform. Total 2 um, starting to wake up. As you can see in the previous cycle, we also were lacking behind pay, uh, a strength at this point. Uh, we started to show strength pre-halving as well. But usually um, altcoins are starting to trend up when the halving has passed. Um, unless some other segments which are going to be discussed afterwards but um, it's just usually showing weakness as the markets need confidence and for confidence you need bitcoin to go up which is currently the case so we are holding support that is crucial but we need to start trending above 600 billion and if that happens that is when the first acceleration starts to kick in when it comes to altcoins and that is also the period where the relatively easier markets are going to take place. A few segments that are going to do well. One of them is DeFi. DeFi had its run in 2020. And if you recall correctly, Chainlink against Bitcoin has been topping out during 2020 exactly in August. So it's also expected that this category is going to start trending to the upside based on the fact that cycles always happen and they show a correlation a self-fulfilling prophecy which means that i will be betting on historical price action and therefore i'm betting on chainlink against uh, or chainlink and DeFi as a whole which means that at this point chainlink is starting to trend up if you like it or not we are making higher lows higher highs so as long as it stays above this level we can continue moving which is similarly the conclusion of Chainlink against UCT, which is currently just simply holding, right? We have been acting into a one and a half year sideways range. We started to break to the upside and I've been marking a few important levels here, which means that if Chainlink is going to have a swift correction and retests $9.50 towards 10 bucks, that is the point where you want to get yourself positioned into it. But the question is, if you have such a long range bound construction and we break to the upside, which you also see on the left here, and you break to the upside, most likely you're not going to get that obvious entry and you're probably going to be positioned into waiting until we break to the upside here, right? So you have to construct it a little bit on the lower time frames, which at this point, looking at around 10 bucks is the entry point. And to be fair, I'm expecting Chainlink to start outperforming and even reach anything close to $25 to $30 if this one continues to show the strength. But at least I hope you have a position. And if the markets are providing any 20 to 30% correction, that is usually the point where you want to get yourself positioned, although it feels a little bit unsecure. More of those altcoins are starting to trend up. You can see it as a whole. Um, Aave is currently doing the exact same, right? We are facing some crucial resistance here, which is um, an area where we have not been breaking through for a long period at this point. Um, it is since 545 days, that is incorrect, 542 days. So this entire range construction, if this one is going to break to the upside, which seems likely, maybe we have another pullback and then we find ourselves in strength you can expect that the accumulation of altcoins is over and we break all the way towards 260 to 280 and then we can have additional strength on the um, altcoins and especially DeFi. and the same can be said about many of those comp is also waking up Synthetix is doing the exact same thing which is facing a crucial resistance so what you can see here and probably what you will be seeing on social media, heavy uh, accumulation, people are still in the bearish mindset, that is fine. But your period to make money has started, which means that Synthetix is one that's just lagging behind. If it breaks this resistance, you want to be positioned because it runs towards $750 to $8. The first one was a fake out into resistance, 
Now, if we come there again, we break to the upside and here you go. And then we have the correction. So that's how I look at the markets. There are still a few altcoins that you can be looking at because they have not been moving. Many of them have been moving. All right. So if you're looking at coins like ARK, for instance, this one has been moving massively. Doesn't show all the data that you need because of a new pair being acting here. But as you can see, ARK has been moving massively. And then you question yourself, hey, this one is up 8x, 6x within a few weeks. Should I be buying this actual asset? Of course not. You should not be looking at anything comparable to this because cor corrections always happen. And social media starts discussing these specific assets because they are hyped and trendy. But you should be looking at entry points that are defined by resistances and supports. And usually when you see it floating around social media, that is the wrong period to start getting into assets. Similarly with Floki, which as you can see, I was aiming for a retest here, which we didn't get. We broke this range and started to break heavily. We consolidated for a little bit, spiked all the way towards here. A lot of people are going to probably say that um, it's going to continue rallying. But if we get in this range, that is where you want to start getting yourself into position of Floki because it is the first higher time frame trigger to look at an entry point. Especially if you look at the lower time frames, you can see that in this aspect, I was looking for this retest, but the markets are so strong that it's not providing one. Rather, it's providing a relatively short retest from this area here, but at least it gives you the confidence. It starts to break to the upside, makes a lower high, makes lower lows, starts smashing the support, breaks there, rejects, and now it's in a downwards trend. So there are a few strategies that you could be looking at if you're trading uh, Floki at this point. One is, if you're looking for longs at least, retest continuation. So breaking above here, holding up, and then you can start targeting the highs again. The second one is that we fall here. You can start aiming for longs around 2700 and then have the reversal back upwards. Those are strategies to look at. A few altcoins that I'll be looking at for potential entries. First of all, We've got Sui. Um, I think newer altcoins are going to do really well at this point. Sui had a big unlock uh, and it's just consolidating at this point. But what we see here is that a crucial level of uh, previous resistance has become support. So what are we doing? A higher low and we are aiming for a higher high. So we start to have the trend to the upside when it comes to Sui. I think it's uh, it had been down only. But at this point, I think it's on the edge, including the bullish divergences, to have that reversal. Another one, the entire N ecosystem of ARP is probably going to change. As you can see, I was conservative with the long entry, couldn't get it. Retest took place here. I expect another one to take place and then we can continue with our tar targeting highs. I'll be discussing this one next week again. And I'll also be discussing the social portfolio, which I have. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and I'll see you again on Tuesday. Ciao.